behind the scenes. Hell yeah. We needed to make a movie and it was winter time and I sort of got inspired to of like how I would make a movie in the winter and in the snow and then you know we had all these abandoned locations John Coons our locations manager who, who's also in the movie brings us all these different locations now as far as filming in the snow goes it actually wasn't that cold on the days we were actually shooting. It was really cold on the days where we would scout the location. Issues with the location scouting. Uh, it's cold as fuck. And, uh, God help us all. What do we got? 17. 17 degrees. Wind chill of negative 50. Out, negative 50 wind chill. That's some chill ass wind, yo. Next up. We got Eminem. Yeah. Um, pretty much the beginning of the movie. It's like this abandoned hotel resort complex, and the whole thing is just no nobody's there. It's completely abandoned. And some of the places there weren't exactly the safest places to be. At one point in the resort, we went into one of the buildings, and the floor looks like it had been eaten out by termites. So I took a plank of wood and I was literally able to chop pieces of the floor off. You would go right through the floor. But we had a good time because basically we went to these abandoned locations and we just kind of set up home there. And we did a, we had a place for doing makeup. Mike, look how creepy Rory looks in Sinaloa. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Bang. Wow, dude, that hurt. You're dead. That was so painful. It just explodes. You are <laughs> dead. Dude, you're a goober. Goober! No, you have to relax relax it. Don't don't squint. Relax. 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 You got this. John's gonna be on the floor holding his eye. And you're gonna start throwing the spam at him. Okay. And then it's gonna miss, and it's gonna land outside, and that's when Nick runs away to get the spam. And then you run away, and I come out, and you come out. We just watch him run away. Okay. Ready? You would have caught me. You would have skinned me. Okay. You would have skinned me. You would have caught me. It's just a thing, standing there okay. and having somebody swing an actual knife at your face. Ooh, that, that was something that I put a lot of trust in my fellow cast. Right, can you see where we are now, Mike? When yeah, well, I, I, I stayed on John and then after a few seconds panned up to you as he was walking towards that's you. So that's nice. I really would like to do more stuff like this. I think it was really fun. I enjoyed everything. I enjoyed it. Like, everyone involved in the project was awesome. Mike, Chris, and Zach Bellanoit were all really helpful with assistant directing and, and cinematography. It's finally off. We separated them. What that's, happened? That's been on there. Hold on. For like a year. A year. Okay, so what? I have these ND filters. You know what that is? It just blocks light. Like okay, yeah. Better. So um, they get washed. But out. we have like bigger ones, and then we have these rings so they can mm -hmm. fit on like smaller lenses. All right. Um. I had a zoom lens, and I had this one for it, but I sold it, and I didn't know that this was stuck onto here, and I couldn't get it off. Oh, oh. Is that the Tamron, yeah. the Tamron yeah. lens. So that was probably since the scientists that yeah. it was stuck. God damn it! Nick, how do you feel about that you fall every single shot? I don't know, man. It just happens. It happens often. It really does. Like more than it probably should. I don't know if it's the boots. <laughs> Like, if my center of gravity is off, I have no... It might be that. Going up I that slope <laughs> to the cabin, you wiped out a lot. I fell quite a few times during this whole filming process. You made me do this! I didn't want to! You made me do this! I didn't want to! Move. You made me do this! I didn't want to do this! 
How you feeling, bud? Alright. This is revenge. <laughs> you want to take over, Chris? What's next? It's Nick getting um, kicked in the mouth. Now I give Nick a speech. I want to do a two-camera shoot for this. So we That's don't good. Do this many times. It looks like you're literally kicking. It's looking like he's kicking me. What right are we gonna face. do for? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. We're making a reverse coffin for me to fall off. You can land as safely as you want because all we need is like a couple of seconds of slow motion of you going like yeah, this. Yeah, I'm going to go to the edge. Actually, I almost did it right there. I'm going to go. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah, sure. That one looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah, get closer. Who wants these retired storyboards? Sheet one. That's famous. <laughs> That's sketchy. What? what? I sneeze. Oh. That was an awkward sneeze. God. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You killed me! We shot this in about three days and we had a lot of fun. I always wanted to make some kind of movie. I've always wanted to have been in some kind of movie and this was the this was the chance that I got and uh, Rory wanted me to be in this and I thought that was really cool and I was really happy to be a part of this. Everyone did a great job and I'm so glad that I was able to help with this project and be a huge part of it in the end. I'm recording. Garbage bag bed. Look, there's a door here. It's fine. There's someone put a door for reinforcements. You cry. Goose. <laughs> oh. I thought you just randomly said goose. <laughs>